Welcome to Streaming Deluxe and welcome to another amazing Steam Weekend video, guys. So much, so much to talk about, so please stay tuned. And before we jump in all the Steam craziness, uh, we have to check out what's actually here on the on the Epic Games. Ooh, Star Wars Outlaws, Outlaws Gold Edition. We come to this uh, immediately. All right, so uh, free now, Ghost Runner, Ghost Runner 3 now. And next week, we're going to have the big con the big con and town of salem uh two for free so two games that i that have not yet been uh free on 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 the epic game store but ghost runner has already been free on the epic game store, so i already own it so let's go back so star wars star wars my friend star star Wars. Uh, how people in germany said or back in the days when i was living in germany so but star wars outlaws gold edition and it's coming it's coming the 30th of august so and i know a lot of people looking very much forward to this game and i would say the main character she looks sweet she looks nice so what do you think does she look too or not not female enough so that's the big discussion on twitter uh but uh, i mean we're all looking forward to a cool game so i think the graphic is going to be amazing as you can see here so of course this is a trailer but if ubisoft this is maybe or let's put it like this this is the single most important game for ubisoft this year so Ubisoft really needs to deliver with this game. It's very important. So and they're selling it in different versions of the game, like they always do it. Uh, and therefore, people are obviously uh, complain already. I mean, this is this is the gold edition, 109, 10 euros, and then of course you're going to have even more expensive versions of this game. So, but this game is important. It's very important. So this can actually be decisive for Ubisoft if they're able to to make other uh, blockbuster uh, games in the future because if they mess this game up then you can imagine then Ubisoft going to be in trouble but what I see here I like it already it looks it looks it looks actually better than some of the Disney uh, Disney movies looks actually like a decent game and maybe it even looks better than the electronic art games all right enough talk about Star Wars let's jump to to Steam my friend so I told you we have to check out Steam so we have the triple I initiative the triple I initiative is a digital showcase for triple I games and uh, what is a triple I game <laughs> yeah what is a triple I games Let, let's see the triple I games now yeah, Triple I initiative. Do we see anything? A big shout out to our partners. No, I don't really see what's a triple I game. A new gaming showcase. A new gaming showcase. Here we can see it. So that's that's going on. New gaming showcase. So initiative where new games are being shown. I mean it's cool that new stuff comes out like this. So we can all uh yeah, we can always change a little bit the the, the how how the world uh, change a bit how the gaming world works <clears throat> and i would say two or three very important games that we have seen now here so a vampire survivors a new uh, dlc as it seems so it's never alone it's never so it's first undermine two undermine first i really like it and this is undermine two and this looks extremely cool and the same fun like under my first one that i want to play some more when i play it again a little bit for my steam deck so rogue action rogue like uh, title very very cool game then we have the rogue prince of persia so i think the trailer came out uh, yesterday or day before yesterday yeah persia this weekend persia is going to be yeah going to be a lot in the news to put it like this so evil empire they even named evil empire oh my god so many easter eggs i give you here guys so evil empire and, and this is going to be published by ubisoft as well also very very cool that ubisoft actually uh, publishes a game like this by the uh this is uh, evil empire are the developers uh, of yeah where what's the name uh, you know the all the name the rogue uh, yeah dead cell they are the developers of dead cell that are actually uh very popular so and, and 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 people a lot of people were asking so why needs dead cell now ubisoft to publish this game i mean they wanted to make a, a prince of persia game 
obviously because it just it just makes sense to make this Prince of Persia game and since uh, Prince, per Prince of Persia is a is a franchise or is an IP of Ubisoft then obviously they have to work together with Ubisoft it all makes sense like this never alone my friends never alone wish list now the first one <laughs> I mean I really like the idea of the first one but it was in the end not that much fun so sometimes sometimes games have good ideas and then they are not so much fun so then we have R RKGK title not clicking now especially on this but kill knight I wanted to show you I thought that was very cool yes Lady the spire 2 is also coming hyper light breaker which looks also pretty cool I wanted to show you this gestalt Street of the Rogue 2, Cat Quest 3, Risk of Rain 2, that's a game that's already out, what the car, what the heck, <laughs> very nice, so, and then we have a game that's called Dino Lord, so, so some very cool new indie games were, uh, were shown, and that's actually, you see, it's just continuing, I mean, we have so many layoffs, and, and you can say the gaming industry is in some sort of a crash, but still, there are so many games coming, so it's simply not stop it and, and this will just simply continue as long as all the gamers are we are buying those games so top-down shooter volatile i mean this is totally a game that i would play i love those kinds of games so very very cool then we have a games called hyper light hyper light break i think hyper light existed already the the, the ip is already an already used for top-down title and now we have third person title of hyper light so looks pretty cool extremely stylized yeah very stylized the trailer is not so good but hey not everyone can make a good trailer dino lords hack and slash action rts pve okay wait i re really have to make this picture now bigger that i really understand what what's going on in this title so what the heck is this this looks so crazy fun oh my god is this really with dinosaurs when, when are the dinosaurs coming is this with dinosaurs i mean look at them so all right all right all right guys that's crazy that's crazy so there's a dinosaur there's a t-rex there's a t-rex and there's some dude on a t-rex and now the dude is dead because the t-rex fell on him so it's medieval times with dinosaurs ah i love it great idea so I hope they are able to execute this idea uh, in a decent way. So this would be simply amazing. All right. I would say cool upcoming games. But this is, uh, yeah, only the games that are upcoming. But we have also some deals. We have Escape the Backrooms. We have System Shock for 18 euros. We have Vampire for 8 euros. You know those games. Pommel Party for under 8 euros. We have the Fallout franchise. Ah, let's, let's highlight the fr Fallout franchise because Fallout, the, the series, I watched the first episode and it's fantastic, guys. It's fantastic. I can only tell you all to watch the first episode of the new Fallout series on Amazon Prime. It's very good. And then if you're then totally in the Fallout mood, so please head over there to play some of those great Fallout games. So I oh, really need to uh, to get back into Fallout uh, 4VR and 76. Maybe I'm going to play a bit Fallout 4VR this weekend. It would be, yeah, actually a good idea. Maybe tomorrow. So I, I don't like playing VR when I'm tired. So after a long week, I'm mostly a bit tired. So therefore I prepare actually prefer actually to play Fallout than in the week of tomorrow. And tomorrow I have a lot of time to play. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. So that's a good idea, Mr. Orange. Awesome idea. Then I have a game that's called Sypho. I've never heard about it. Never heard about Sypho. Action roguelike simulation. Very positive. Yeah, not my not my type of games. I do not feed the monkeys. 2K23 weekend. PGA Pacific Drive is already 20% down. Just came out. Hogwarts Legacy 30 euros. Paul were 26 euros and then all the Fallout games. Wonderful, wonderful. So new and trending. If we go new and trending, is there anything interesting? Maybe this game looks cool. Sea of Radiation Prologue, free to play. So it's a prologue we can free to play. Ah, hmm. oh, doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't look so so interesting actually. <laughs> let's 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 continue. Headquarters World War Two amazing in those times who doesn't like to play a good 
war game. RimWorld is number one. Overwhelming positive 154,000 reviews. Then we have Infection Zone, Game Free Zone, Infection Free Zone, Belter Skate. So those are the best uh, selling games. So what, what's going on with Infection Zone? So this is a post apocalyptic base building early access title. Mostly positive. 13,000 people play this right now. And yeah, 22, 49 early access. Hmm. So choose any real region from the world, choose your base of operation, then rebuild and re readapt the buildings around you to create a self-sustaining settlement. Take charge of a group of survivors from your city, and when the night falls, defend the zone from the infected. Sounds like a good, interesting idea. So, hmm, isn't there a demo? I would, I would actually like to try out this title. I would like to try out this title, because I think the idea is pretty cool. So, but I don't know if I want to pay not to make over 20 years. So let's see. <clears throat> then we have popular upcoming. You see anything, guys? Do you see anything interesting here? I don't really see anything so interesting here. And then we have the special deals. All right. I would say that's more or less it. And uh, to make sure that we haven't forgotten anything, I always go on Steam database. Uh, and always recommend you also to go there then you get like uh, for example a weekend a week deal of of the game nuts which looks very interesting um and it's uh, th three or 35 system shock uh, 18 euros as i said play for free fallout 76 as well as for free also tower defense still on sale donut country 70 percent down Don donut country 70 percent down Bridge Constructor Portal 119, Psychonauts 50% uh, down, Streets of Rogue 75% down, Spirit Fire Undermine also pretty cheap uh, since they got the, the sequel announced very cool. And uh, maybe the Town of Light 80% down, uh, not so interesting actually. This title, so Streets of Rage, Deeper Galactic also cheaper, Overcooked cheaper, Cloud Punk cheaper, Jurassic World Evolution still cheaper. So you see still a lot of interesting deals. Black Tail under 10 years. Forgive me, Father under 10 years. Sherlock Holmes to Awaken just came out actually recently under 16 years. Evil West under 18 years. 12 minutes under 10 years. Callisto Protocol 1769. Absolutely recommend this title. Great game. And that's it. I would say from the games that you need to have on your radar. Oh, yeah, and then... Uh, Journey. Journey is actually Journey is actually really cheap right now. Uh, and it was cheap in the bundle. Here you go. Journey with flower to buy a gather bundle 83% down, 3 euros 45. So most probably you haven't seen this because uh, then we get now available in early access exactly because Sky was coming out and we can play this for free. My gosh, really, this weekend it's so incredible so incredible guys so wow mmorpg after 260 million years downloads no what was it so yeah check this game out all right with that i'm leaving it here see you next time bye bye